Hello, everyone. Welcome to a special Xenonauts video with your host, Tim. It's special in the fact that this won't be us playing the game. In this video, we're going to be covering how to install the Community Edition of Xenonauts and how to make changes to some of the game files to match the things that I have done in the Let's Play that you are seeing. Now, keep in mind that I, I'm also not going to go over all the other mods I've downloaded. Just know that you can select quite a few of them in the workshop. All right, well, let's just get right down to it. So, you just got Xenonauts, and you want to play the Community Edition. In fact, I highly recommend the Community Edition. I believe the developers for Xenonauts themselves recommend the Community Edition as well. So, what you want to do to install the Community Edition is come over to your Xenonauts thing on Steam. If you have it on GOG, I believe you'll just have to download it from Nexus or ModDB or whatever it is that you get it from. But on Steam, it makes it pretty easy. I can just right-click on the Xenonauts game right here. Go to Properties, Betas, and from this drop-down menu, I'll be able to select the Community Edition branch. After a few seconds, Steam will realize, oh hey, he wants to play this version of, of this game, and begin downloading it for us. Yep, that's all you have to do to install the Community Edition through Steam. And what's more, I believe that for GOG, you'll have to grab it from the internet uh, somewhere and then install it. Once the game is installed, everyone, I will be right back. I'm just going to cut the recording briefly here. Okay, everyone. With the game now on the Community Edition, I can show you guys the mods I am running and the priority list in which they are listed. These are all the mods I'm running, or ones that are active, at least. You can see, yes, these are the ones that it downloaded. Some of these come, to my knowledge, with the community edition of the game. Others I grabbed off the workshop. Of course, if you're running this on GOG, you will need to go and download these directly from the internet. From wherever it is, from your favorite modding website, assuming that it's on your favorite modding website. Right, so now with this shown, I made further alterations to the game. In particular, I made aircraft cheaper to maintain. I have made... Oh, what else did I do? Crap. <laughs> That's right. I increased the stats on different soldiers, increasing their base stats, and I increased the rate at which aircraft are refueled. So, these changes are pretty easy, and I'm only going to cover these changes. I'm not going to cover everything you can do to the game because there is a ton of stuff you can try to edit with the game. But before we go any further, before I show you this, I'm going to warn you that you should back up your save games first. In fact, I just did it to make sure that uh, if I anything messes up, I haven't lost any progress I made in the game. Um, your games themselves, your save game files, will be located in your probably your C drive, or wherever your main drive is located. Users, your username, your documents... Oh, and I'm using Windows 7, so it might be a little different. Basically, your documents folder is where you want to go. And in here, you'll find Xenonauts. This is all the game saves that you have. Copy them, paste them someplace else so you have a backup. I highly recommend that you do that uh, if you're going to be adjusting any game files. For any game that you play, back up your save game. Trust me, you will love it. I've also now shown you how to save scum. Okay, so, the game files themselves... Well, it's easiest to get to them by going to Properties, go to Local Files, and of course, if, this is Steam again. If you have them on GOG, you'll have to go to wherever you installed them. And here we can see this folder that brought us to. We want to go to Assets, and then Mods. Where are you, Mods? <coughs> At least on Steam, this is where all of the, I think, oh god, please let me, I hope I'm correct. This is where all of the workshop items will end up going. And this is also where the Community Edition downloaded itself into. We're interested in the XCE, X-Ray Charlie Echo, ver uh, which is the Xenonaut Community Edition. And in here, these are the files we want to edit. These ones right here. So, for aircrafts, we want to open up the aircrafts file. This is where their statistics are, how fast they can turn, how fast they can move, um, it doesn't cover their refueling rate or rearming rate, not in this file, that will be a different one. But here is where their costs, in our case, are located. If we look for, I think, at 100,000? Here we go. I can see that the F, here's the F-17, the MiG-31, the Corsair, etc., etc. The 100,000 is our maintenance, maintenance cost. In the base game, all these aircraft 
have a base cost of 100,000. So, because I want to lower this base cost, all I have to do is just change the number. 50,000. And that would affect the F-17, or the Condor, for example. So, I would just do this to all my aircraft to make them cheaper to maintain. Pretty easy. Next, to change the refueling rate, and I believe also increase the stats on your soldiers, we want to go to, I think it's game config. In here, if I search for 35, yep, these are the, so oh, there they are. These are the soldiers' minimum and maximum values for their stats. All I did was come down here and increase 35 to 45. I think I also did it for their action points as well. And that's it. Of course, you can you can do whatever you want, viewer, because it's your game. Feel free to make it as easy or as difficult as you like. Maybe you want soldiers only having a max of 20 for, for their stats. <laughs> God help the world indeed. You can also change the rate at which female soldiers are hired. It's a 35% chance whenever that the soldier will be a girl instead of a guy, etc., etc. You can go through the whole, whole file and look up all this stuff. Finally, we want the refuel rate. What I did here was I upped the value from 0.8 f from 0.4 to 0.8. Per the percent refueling rate for aircraft. So I basically doubled, I believe, the rate at which the aircraft refuels itself. You can see you can adjust all sorts of other things for this as well. And that's it. That's that's pretty simple, at least I think, to make the... To, of course, I gotta finish doing the aircraft, but yeah. That's, that's all I've done to the game files. You can adjust whatever you like, by all means. Go tear, it, tear it all up. Knock yourself out. With great power comes the temptation to wield it. Just, uh, again, back up your save file first. I certainly hope this was useful to you, and uh, thanks for watching, everyone. See you in Xenonauts.